Hello everyone, Helen here and welcome to my channel. Today I'm making 10 cards using the Simple Vintage Lemon Twist Collection by Simple Stories. I'm working with a 12 by 12 paper pack and then I brought in uh, ephemera pack as well as gingham ribbon in my stash. It is black and white. My sketches or my inspiration came from MFT card sketches which I will have linked down below. You can download them for free. Um, I didn't follow the sketches um, quite to the T. I'll just look at the sketch and then I'll go from there. Some sketches I did follow to the T. Um, so this is a little bit different from what I normally do with a cutesy. I've been wanting to uh, play with the vintage collections from Simple Stories because I've been attracted to the ephemeras and the colors of what they've been putting out i actually bought this last year on a cherry on top but it was on the on a delay and by the time i got it it was already like summertime and so i was like i'll just save it another another day which is now <laughs> a year later but um i am loving this you guys the ephemera pack came with so much ephemera and I had so much fun making clusters with this. I think this ribbon pairs really well with the yellow and black theme of this color palette. And I, I, if you watch one of my videos where I used a navy blue and white gingham ribbon, I forget which video that was, um, I actually ran out of that. So I went on Amazon to search for gingham ribbons um, I didn't quite find a navy. I don't know if I found a navy blue. I forget. But I found this pack right here. And it's slightly larger than a half an inch. And I think it's three eighths of an inch. I don't know. Anyways, I'll have it linked down below or five eighths. And um, it came with black and white and red and white. And I thought, oh, the red and white should go with, um, I guess, what's in style right now which are strawberries and so it was like 9.99 and i think it was like 25 yards each and to me a pack of 25 yard ribbon that's pretty long and that should last me a while but anyways i should have all of that linked down below and as i mentioned earlier my sketches are from mft sketches and um, usually I'll go on Pinterest, but this time I tried something different. I actually did a um, Google search. So I don't know which browser you use, but I use Google. And if you type in card sketches, you know, all these results will come, come out. And then, but if you click on the images tab, it should um, put out a whole bunch of card sketch images. And the majority of the images were from MFT sketches. So I was like, okay, well, I'm just going to browse. And then it turns out all the sketches I, I picked were from MFT. And I discovered that, well, I knew that Queen and Company did sketches that matches their dies. So I'm going to have to check out their sketches and see what dies will work in my stash with their sketches. Because I've actually never tried any of their sketches. So be on the lookout for that. And as I mentioned before, you know, I've been wanting to try the Simple Stories Vintage Collections. I also have the Coastal one. And on my last haul, I showed you guys that I purchased the um, the floral ones. I forget what they're called, but um, they are so much fun. I have to be honest, like even though something is not your style and then you, well, I find that when I work with something that's not my style, I feel like I get my creative juices flowing and I was really having so much fun creating these cards and I'm planning videos like this. Um, I usually try to first look at the sketches and then I um, pick at least one or two dice for my stash that will work with the sketch that I'm looking at. And then I'll just go from there. I try not to pick any extras from the kit, if that makes any sense, because then um, I find myself getting overwhelmed. Um, it might be different for you, but for me, I just try to keep it basic. Um, I do donate a lot of my cards to Cards for Soldiers. And um, there are guidelines where, you know, you can't use glitter, um, certain... Um, 
guidelines like that. I think it's just you can't use glitter. I'm pretty sure. But you know, if you're interested in donating to Cards for Soldiers, I will have their link down below. And so the cards that I do use glitters on, I donate it to other organizations that will accept it or, you know, I'll send it out as happy mail, which reminds me if you guys haven't signed up for my happy mail list, I will have that also linked down below. I try to send out happy mail to my viewers um, as a thank you for you guys always supporting me and watching my videos. Also, some of you who did fill out the Google form for my happy mail list you guys entered your some of you entered your address but didn't actually put the city and the country or state and zip code so if you if you did sign up please go back and check to see if you entered you know the zip code and country and all that etc because you know i can't send you a card if i don't know where you know if the address is incomplete. So if you haven't gotten a card from me, that is why. So if you're watching, go back and check. That way I can um, send you happy mail. All right, so, um, okay, so this card right here, I was like, this banner doesn't look right. So then I turned it sideways and I was like, ah, I remember now. And then I looked back on my picture because I usually take a picture of what I want the image, I mean, of what my card, how I want my card to look like and I was like okay this is correct with the banner being sideways because I did have another card that looks very similar to this but the banner was you know facing down and then I added that ticket because the there was I, I just needed some color on there and then I added that little strip and I really love how this card turned out and I didn't add any ribbon to that because it already had that black and white um dot um banner and then card six if you notice my card sketches are very simple um, I try to keep it basic because I just want to enjoy the process of it I, I don't really like going super extra when I'm making 10 card videos because I want to let the paper speak for itself and usually I'll bring in bling but this time I did not oh and here's a card sketch you guys I will try and if I remember which card sketch I used, I will have it up on my blog so you guys can get an idea and see, you know, what um, I used. But this one right here, I love this sketch. I love the three banners going down and then the circle dot, I mean, the circle right on top of that. It just creates so much texture. I just love all the layering involved in this one particular sketch that I was like, oh my gosh, I love this so much. And then if you have a whole bunch of like strips that you can actually use it doing this. And so I have to say that I did use all 12 patterns Okay, no, not all 12, but I did cut out all of those 12 pattern papers from that 12 by 12 pack. And so I don't really have a 12 by 12 paper left. They're all either like, you know, cut, cut down. And so I have plenty of paper left to make more cards looking like this. And yeah, I might go back and make more and then I'll just probably share it with you guys. My friends have been doing this um, challenge by Jill Norwood and it's called Saturday Morning Makes. So I'll probably join that. I'm not going to say when because I don't want to make promises. But um, when I do get a chance to make more cards using... Uh, previous collections that I've already showcased on my channel I'll probably share it on a Saturday morning mix which I think would work out well and so it's like a hash I think it's a hashtag driven um video type of share so that's something that I do want to do all right so the ephemeris came with a lot of tickets I was anticipating that I would use a 12 by 12 sticker sheet but I actually did not use the 12 by 12 sticker sheet that came with the uh, collection. I just used the ephemera and I still have a lot of ephemera left, probably to make three or four more cards. But um, if you have like a lemon stamp, like I know I have like a lemon stamp from Stampin' Up 
And I can always use that to um, incorporate with this uh, paper, which I think would really complement this paper. So just because you don't have ephemera or stickers to go with this paper or if you ran out like my suggestion is to look through your stash and see what would match this you know or perhaps use a sentiment or a bigger sentiment and just cut out like a shape like for example a circle or a square you don't need ephemera to actually dress up a card all you need is a, I think you know in my opinion all you need is a great sentiment um, a couple of embellishments like bling or ribbon and you're done so like for example here like I have this circle all I need is actually a sentiment to put right there but no I'm being a little bit extra with my ephemera you know because you know me and my ephemera <laughs> I love my ephemera um, but like you know maybe that's a challenge we can do right where we can make cards only using paper and just the sentiment. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comment section below if you guys want to do a challenge like that. You know, because not all of us, you know, have ephemera to go along with our paper. Or we have an older paper collection and all we want to do is just use it up. And yeah. Okay, see, now my creative uses are really, really flowing. That can be something we can do for the, C the hashtag CMD shop stash. Where I'll just pick a paper collection and then... I'll pick a sentiment from my stash and we can go from there. Ooh, that would be so much fun, right, you guys? Okay, I think this is, I think we're on card 10. We're on the last card. Oh my gosh. You guys, I, instead of me talking about the card, I'm always babbling about something else. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know why I get so distracted so much. I hope you guys don't mind that I do that. I, I know a lot of you let me know or you know, comment and say that you like it when I do talk, but sometimes I don't honestly know what to talk about. And then I go off subject. And, and so I hope you guys don't mind this, you know, I'm not really good at voiceovers. I admit that I, I, I really honestly need to work on it. But, you know, you guys like it for some reason that I talk on my video. So I'm gonna keep going. All right, so I, yeah, I do believe this is card 10. And then I added that gingham ribbon and I love it. It's so pretty with this paper collection. Oh, wait, no, that that's card nine. Now we're on card 10. And if you guys noticed, I did try to um, use up the card stock really well by um, die cutting the, the circles behind the black card stock or, you know, hide it behind there. That way I don't have to cut a new uh, cardstock, you know, try to use up your, um, get more use out of your paper there. Because no one's going to know. No one's going to know that, you know, you die cut that behind. I mean, the people who watch this is going to know, but, you know, you're not going to be able to tell, just saying. Before I used to be like a cardstock snob where it's like... I don't want to cut the back of my cards. I used to be like that, you guys. But now I'm like, it doesn't make sense why I don't do that. You know, I don't know. It's so bad that I used to be like that. I was like, but they're going to know. No, they're not going to know, you guys. All right. <laughs> Decorated with hearts and a bow. Okay, I love the bow placement of this one. What do you guys think? All right, so that completes the 10 cards. I hope you enjoyed this process video. If you did, let me know in the comment section which card was your favorite. I really do love and enjoy reading your comments. And also just a reminder, if you haven't signed up for Happy Mail List, just click on the link down below. And if you have signed up, just double check to see if you uh, filled out your address correctly, you know, because if you haven't really received one from me by now, then, you know, um, that's because your address was incomplete. Okay, so I'll see you guys on my next video. Have a wonderful day and thank you so much for watching. Bye!